Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Inkeeper, and today I'd like to welcome you back to Stonehearth, playing on the barrier field right here. Forgetting the name for a second there. I don't know why I forgot the name, but I did, and I'm ashamed of it ever so slightly. I have fixed the inn. It's now looking pretty and wonderful. Slight change with the outside pattern, however. I've sort of connected the tables to the sort of pillars that we have right here surrounding the the doorways. I never actually finished them, did I? No, the pillars don't really go anywhere. Extra. Probably should fix that. Am I capable of fixing such an error? I always, I notice this stuff now. Of course I do. I don't think I can. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be lost to the ether at this point. It's the angle that makes it awkward. I need to, I need to get it from the top, but I can't because of the way that the roof is. If I can get it from this angle, maybe. There we go. So, we've got to get it from the top again. Which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Oh, no. I can just about do it. Right, there we go. And then we can follow it through. I just sort of want to disconnect. You can see the, the floor from that angle. So, I'd rather not see that. I'm pretty sure I'm using the correct color as well. Oh, okay. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's stop that. We've got to be kind of slow of our clicks. Merv is running around right now. I am being used as a climbing frame. And then we will connect this part up. And I'm pretty sure I don't have anything on this side. So that's going to make things a bit interesting. And I should be able to connect these from the bottom down. Or from the top up. Top down even. <laughs> I'm going to say it correctly eventually. And then I could just delete that bit. I'm pretty sure that is that. Other than. Oh nope. Not just yet. There we are. Right, that should be connected. It's not the most interesting thing in the world. But I think it definitely makes that look a lot better. Yeah, that's a lot nicer. Anyway, as I was saying, the only thing that needs doing is the interior, which we will eventually get set up. I need to get the bottom floor done. So we need to create ourselves a bunch of tables and chairs for that. Let's go ahead and do this. Unfortunately, a lot of items I have right here, you know, I, I had to spawn it in. Because they were not capable of constructing the building. It's just too complex, I think. There's too many sort of hanging areas and... Well, just too many random bits. And not to mention, we needed to get these fences in. And they can't place the fences in to an area that's connected to a wall unless you insta-spawn in. So it would look ugly otherwise. Look, we're, we're doing it for beautiful aesthetics. As is tradition. However, the inside, we can sort of muck around with that a little bit more. Because it's not as important. That's the part we're not going to see as much unless we're, you know, looking at the flooring all the time. Which we will be using to get the floor done, by the way, since it's a lot easier to do it like this. So much easier. Wait, do I have the staircases? Or do the stairs just not show up? Oh, fuck. I thought I put the stair in. I guess not. Pretty sure I can put the stair in on the fly. Yeah, I can. Good. Oh. <laughs> Made me, made me slightly angry for a second there. I'm pretty sure I can somehow rotate this. Give it a go anyway. I'm trying to get the angle here, but it's not working. It only likes that one angle, apparently. What if I get it from this side? I think it worked for a second there. There we go. Yeah, if I get it from this angle, pretty sure that's going to work out for me. Yep, that's good. So we've got one stair done. Don't worry. We're nearly there. Pretty sure if I use the x-ray mode, that's going to be a lot easier. Not x-ray. The flat version. There we go. Yeah, that sh should make our lives significantly easier because I'm pretty sure I could just do it from the top. Yeah, there we go. That's, that's much better. I'm pretty sure I wanted the stair to be facing from that side. Yeah, that's not bad. It's slightly in the way, but I could put some tables around it. That will be okay, and that will help you get to the top. Insta-build these as well. <laughs> they are a different color. I don't mind that. It does sort of help to distinguish the staircase a little bit more. I can add some decorative designs if I wish to do so. However, for now, I'm not really too bothered. The game really quiet. It's going to turn the game. I think it's just it's going through its random I want to be quiet phase. It's just a phase. It's fine. Everyone right now is content, which is good, I suppose. You know, it's sort of what you want to go for. 
But we do wish to create ourselves a bunch of these dining tables. So let's make about 20 of them, since we're probably going to have to sort of place them down fairly sporadically. We also want some comfy chairs, which I think is going to be really good, at least for the first floor. The outside chairs can be wooden, just for the sake of saying that the comfy chairs would probably be worn out quicker in the environment. Otherwise, uh, other than being inside, so that's sort of more of an aesthetical choice. Same thing with the comfy beds as well. We want to get some of those. So making some cloth is the next objective. However, we do not have much, but we can make ourselves a hell of a lot of thread. And unfortunately, we can only make free cloth at the moment. So we'll get the thread done. We need to make more of it, however, so we need more bundles of fibers. Let's get some of that harvested, which is here. There we go. So the weaver's going to be very busy, which is fine. It gives them something to do. We have a quick zoom out right here of what we currently have in construction. We have a bunch of houses around here, including this sort of nice one, which I don't know if I've saved to my design or my templates. I'm sure I have. No, I haven't. That's interesting. I really should. It's... I think I haven't because it's connected up to the yet. Oh, oh, we're gonna get a new person. Wow, it's been a while. Wait, are we? There we go. Heath Hart, welcome. 263. Let's rename you to Sniper. Welcome. Oh. Welcome, Sniper. Didn't request anything in particular. If you make me nine wooden chairs over back in two days, I might be able to give you four. I hate how they say I might be able. So if I complete this quest, is there a chance where they're like, you know what? Unfortunately, I couldn't get the gold, but the chairs are nice. Cheers. Bye. And they just bugger off. Is, is this a case? Is this a scenario? Nine wooden doors. I said, I said chairs, but I meant to say doors. I mean, I suppose it's not that difficult. We will get that accomplished somehow. The carpenter actually does their job, which it, I think they're doing. Yeah, there was 20 of those to be made before. We will need a little bit more wood, however. Let's make 10 of these. The main problem with making these doors is I'm pretty sure they can sometimes make fine doors, but I don't know if that uses up the, sl the slot, as it were. So let's say they make... They've got 10 wooden doors to make, and they make a fine wooden door. Is it going to stay on... To st is it going to stay to make 10 wooden doors still? Or is it going to go down to nine? Even though they technically haven't made a wooden door, they've made a fine wooden door. So that makes sense. It should. But my explanation is pretty poop. We still need to get the stone around the farm area also completed. So I'm wondering if our mason is still accomplishing that task. They are... They're told to make as many fences as they possibly can. I'm going to make another 30. 30 might be a bit overkill. That's fine. We also want to move these bushes. Well, no, I want to keep it there just to remind me of my existence, really. <laughs> just lets me know that I'm alive, I think. We want to also place... Let's see, so... We have one right here. That's if we can put one down and have it connect up with the corner, that is. I'm talking about a fence, by the way. Bloody hell. Still clicking R to rotate. <laughs> so this, I just don't know why this is still in my head. Yeah, you, I think you're meant to switch it around so you don't get that little stump that sort of chills out. It's still there, it's just harder to see, I think. Oh yeah, it is definitely still there. Just on the other side. Okay, yeah, that, that wouldn't look that great. Right, then we put the wooden door in about here. Yeah, that'll be five across. And then we get to... Unfortunately, this corner's going to stick out by one, which is not nice. But I don't think that matters too much. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. It could be a lot worse. So we will try and follow through with that. Until we get to... Ooh. I suppose that doesn't really matter. If we put a fence here, we can make that bit four across. Oh no, that's fine. No, that is centered, isn't it? But no, that's what I'm, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this not being centered. <laughs> I 
Can I move this? Apparently not. Can I rub it out? Apparently not. Right, we're gonna have to wait until that places itself down. As for here, we will get ourselves another walkway sorted out. Some general maintenance going on. We'll just have it be free across. We'll probably have it underneath here as well. There we go, that makes it look a lot nicer. This is annoying as hell. I'm trying to think of any way that I can fix this. I don't think I can. I mean, we've got a walkway here, I suppose, so I can use this one instead. But it's another scenario of, will that connect up? And I'm thinking it probably won't. Let's demolish that. Several ways to get in through the farm, though. We've got one here, one there, or potentially one here, one here, and probably one more along this path. So multiple ways to get in and out is ideal. Level four, Shepherd, nice. We have quite a lot of wool right now. And I'm assuming everyone else is in a good mood. Yeah, one of you, a few of you are glum. Oh yeah, look at that. Roaring fire. I'm pretty sure I put some brazes down in the base. Yeah, I did, look at that. That fireplace looks really nice. Very cozy, I'm looking forward to getting some proper lights in there though. Am I putting these braziers down everywhere then, or am I going to be using these normal lanterns? Because these lanterns do look quite nice. They have a nice vibe, a nice chill out vibe to them. I still need to move this, but I'm waiting for them to actually place it down. Okay then, so this has been accomplished, so let's go back over to the placement. Ugh, damn. Hmm. Maybe I can do that. I think that's a good compromise. Well, I think I want to swap this over. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, okay, there's a slight change in direction there, but that's fine. I just realized that's not properly connected. Well, that's most of the stone used up there. Or well, the stone walls. But for the most part, that is disconnected fairly well. So anything in here is going to have a lot of trouble getting out. We haven't made a wall between these two, but we don't really need one. If anything, having one across here is very important, however. Do we need to make more farmland, though? We probably do. We are making trees, which... They're not ready yet. But we do need more wood, so let's get some of that harvested. There's some wolves over here we want to deal with. And there are also some dinosaur lizard creatures here. Are we good? No, damn it, net worth is not high enough. An enemy. An enema. Oh no. Easy. Oh, okay. Some goblins over here. Or some uh, kobolds. I seem to have a bit of a tick lately. It's it's annoying. My one of my veins keeps twitching. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> Wow, the range on that. They don't even know where they're getting shot from. We've got suppressors on these, these bows, apparently. No idea where the shots are coming from. Oh, fucking hell. Good timing. Uh, <laughs> all right, then. We are in a spot of bother here. We're going to have to try and be aggressive towards you. The archers can keep fighting the kobolds here. There we go. As the archers should be able to out DPS. Let's get the footman to try and attract the kobolds. Our archers are on the way back. 
we can have them starting. We can have them to fight the. What am I trying to say? We can use them to fight the kobolds. All right, you can fight him again. I think they just killed one of our chickens, the bastards. All right, the archers are back in the action. Boys are back in town. They're going to try and elim eliminate their ranged, our, our ranged opponent opponents. Speaking, it's not my thing. Even though I've been doing it for a very long time in my life. I thought one of our people were nearly dead. It was just with the chicken. Good job, everyone. We were successful in defeating our foe. We also need to move these trapping grounds. I think that one's fine. In fact, no, I'll move it. Over here, I think. Yeah, we need to either loot or get rid of all this stuff. I think I'd rather bin most of it. Just in the way. Especially all this stuff. I'm pretty sure doing this is what destroyed the, the structure in the first place. So I've got to be kind of careful here. But destroying all those items should hopefully alleviate enough space for us. Not to mention, how is our carpenter doing with that wood? The new wood that we've got. They're still making the dining tables, which we can get some of them set up. Mostly those comfortable beds or those comfortable chairs are what I'm looking for. And we can make some spiky quivers now. In fact, we can make two of them. What do we need to make those? We did, we, we did need... We do need Fred, okay. Right, let's cancel this and make another 48. Although we make those quivers first. We do need two more of them anyway. We don't have a tailor's yet, do we? I mean, we can make any of these buildings a particular class and just sort of change them around a bit. The inn, of course, is for Monsieur Inkeeper. Which, we need to get a bar stall set up, really. But we can use the tables for that. With a sort of gate combo. Oh, yeah, we can use the fine tables for the bar. Where would the bar be, though? In a Barbie world? Maybe. <laughs> it's a it's a possibility. Of course, we won't be able to actually make them... A, I keep saying actually. We won't be able to fit them right next to the, the walls. Let's say it's along here. Yeah, let, let's say the bar is along that way. And we can have a gate... Just along here. Really big. Which I don't appreciate. Maybe a door. Bloody hell, I've done it again. Yeah, maybe just a doorway. It doesn't make that much sense. But it will help to sort of disconnect these areas. And it means anyone that purchases a room they can go up this staircase of course there's a back door right here it's just another way in and out really let's say this back door is for staff though so the bar will be at the back here of course it doesn't actually make any legitimate sense it's just a way of decorating our inn i'm trying to get an angle here but it's quite tough so let's put a chest here and here they can be filled with random goodies let's put another fine crate Probably, you know, we'll have some crates in the back, I think. Yeah, that's a good idea. We will have a house in the back as well. We would also be... Would it be useful to have stone? I don't think so. Stone doesn't make any sense. Speaking of stone, we still need to get the fencing over here accomplished. Yep, we've created a little bit more. Oh, this is the truest moment of all. Nice. That could have been a disaster. Now it's just this lining up that's going to be an issue. Maybe. Well, it won't be that much of an issue because we can always sort of disconnect it by one block. It's not completely even. 
From this area, it's pretty much connected just before the, the block goes down. Right here, so it's on the very edge. But over here, it's off the edge. But that's just because of disconnect reasons. There's not much we can do about that. Okay, we've done a good job here. We will have bar stools in the front. They're not going to be comfy chairs, though, just to sort of help distinguish them. Well, maybe we could have benches. Stone benches? Would that work? I don't think it would. No, the, the chair seems... Like it makes more sense. So we'll have a sto we'll have the wooden chairs here, and then the bunch of other stools in the main area.